I know you're gonna dig this. You could at least leave out an iron. What can I do with just that? What's going on everybody? Here I am in Hollywood. I'm not gonna move the camera around too much. People get really stressed when I move the camera around too much. So I'm gonna keep it centered, gonna keep it straight, talk right to you. So, it's a beautiful day here in Hollywood. She made eye contact with me, that stresses me out. What have I said about eye contact? <coughs> That's right, no direct eye contact. Here I am at the location of Guns N' Roses' infamous Hell House. No! That's right. No, I'm not. I'm at a Guns N' Roses house, but it's not the Hell House. You see a lot of people come out here, take photos, videos, make videos, all that stuff, and say this is where Guns N' Roses' infamous Hell House is. No, Guns N' Roses did live in this house, and there's famous photos of them on the uh, front porch. Getting a little dry mouth. I was in the desert earlier. Yeah, so I think I have sand stuck in my mouth. That's cool, but this house is where they lived after they got signed to Geffen Records. Their Hell House is actually up in a little, well, I'm gonna show you the real Hell House. If you read the books, you do a little digging, you realize this isn't what Guns N' Roses themselves and their inner circle refer to as the Hell House. That's somewhere else. But this still is a Guns N' Roses one-time owned house. Let's see what I can show you. It's heavily fenced off, but I think I can get some good pictures. Moving pictures, video. Sometimes I forget what I'm talking about, even though technically I'm brilliant. No! Disagree. Let's take a look at Guns N' Roses house, not the hell house. There it is right there. That's it. So Guns N' Roses did live here after they got signed to a major label. But this isn't where they wrote the majority of Appetite for Destruction. Nope. That was written somewhere else. I'm gonna show you but this, this cool little house was owned by Guns N' Roses. Well, I don't know if they owned it exactly, I forget now, I can't remember if they owned it or it was rented out for them. But right here, and there's infamous shots of them on the porch. See, I gotta be a little stealth with that. It is a private residence now, but people do come by all the time, taking pictures, making videos, like I just am, like I just am, like I am. But yeah, I'm gonna take you to the real Hell House, the actual Guns N' Roses Hell House. Yeah, they partied right there, a lot. But their biggest parties were up the street. Do you wanna go up the street? It's off of uh, Sunset Boulevard, and I'm gonna show you what I can show you from there. Let's take one last look at Guns N' Roses, not so hellish house, hell house, not the hell house, but a house that they stayed in for a long time. Right here. Right there. All right, so now let's go to the real Guns N' Roses Hell House location. Are you excited? No! Well, I am. So, you should get a little bit more excited. What can I do to excite you? Don't say that, that's gross. Okay, let's go. For you, it's gonna be three seconds. For me, it's a bit of a little drive. Bit of a little drive, it's not that long. But I've been in my car all day. I can do this. Can I do this? Yes, I can. And you'll see a lot of people come back here and they spray paint this building and lots of cool graffiti. Some even spray painted Guns N' Roses. Now, that may be because 
they believe this is the Guns N' Roses rehearsal space. But it's not. The Guns N' Roses, uh, Guns N' Roses, Guns N' Roses one had a sliding garage door. Do you see one? No, no you don't. But you will in a minute. So, here I am in an alleyway, of course, because I prefer alleyways. Cursed alleyways. <laughs> Guitar center right there. Convenient. That's been there a long time. Right in front of me is the actual Guns N' Roses Hell House. This is where they worked, lived, and played. When I say played, I mean got into a lot of trouble here. Think of the song My Michelle by Guns N' Roses. That's a combination of two Michelles. One of them was a girl Axel was dating at the time, and the other one was a girl that Axel had his relations with at the time, who turned out to be not so much 18, and he got into a lot of trouble, had to go into hiding. But this building right here, so, so much went on here. This is, like I said, this is the real hell house. This is where they wrote Appetite for Destruction, in this building. And it's, a, it's not a far walk from the hustling, that's right on the Sunset Strip, but it's not a far walk from the, the major areas of Sunset Strip. And it's not too far from the house that they moved into down on Fuller where we just were. But this is probably the most debaucherous place ever in the history of rock and roll, I would say. Because if you read a lot about Guns N' Roses, just look at Guns N' Roses uh, rehearsal studio, Gardner. Google those words together. And you read all the stuff that went on here. So yeah, that's the building right there. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Would it be cooler to go inside? Yeah. It's locked up. Mm -mm. I won't do you like that. Representing Detroit, we just go inside. All right, I got permission. I worked it out before. This is the inside of Guns right now. It looks a lot different. It's very clean and very cool now if it's a jujitsu studio. But in here is where Guns N' Roses used to live, work, and do other things. Let's go. Here we go. So this is it. As you can see, it's a lot different, but this is it. They lived here, worked here, and that's what they did in here. Isn't that crazy? Small. A lot of parties around here. And what they did for, they had to use a communal restroom that was down the street. There's no restroom on the property here. So they had to use one at some other place. I'm not sure where. Probably the guitar center or probably those bushes. But a lot, and apparently one time Axl Rose was using a box to... <clears throat> relieve himself like a kitty so yeah look here so yeah right in here this is where guns roses did everything in this little room this is the actual hell house this is the real guns and roses hell house right here these guys are training it's quite a different atmosphere here than it was 30, 33, 34 years ago when Guns N' Roses lived here in this little tiny room. So that's it. That's the inside of Guns N' Roses' infamous hell house. We were inside. It's a jujitsu studio. It's called Klube de Jujitsu. And that was Eugene that helped me out there. He's one of the instructors there. If you want to learn jujitsu and you're in Hollywood, you go there. Because that guy was built and they know what they're doing in there. Thanks, Eugene. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
Yeah, so there it is, the Hell House. And this is the parking lot where so much stuff went down. If this parking lot could talk, well, it probably couldn't talk. It would, its mouth would be full of vomit. So if, if this parking lot could write something down, it would write a really debaucherous, crazy book. And I would devour every inch of it. Rock history, right here. Appetite for destruction, right there. Where's that pointing? Right there. Yeah. How awesome is that? So cool. All right, thanks for watching. That was awesome. Eugene, thank you. If you're a Guns N' Roses fan, that building means a lot to you. If you're a music fan, that building means a lot to you. If you're just a regular watcher of my channel, that building means a lot to me, which means probably means a little bit something to you. I hope. So, from Guns N' Roses' real hell house, not that other house, this is a real hell house. I'm gonna say peace. Wait a minute. I'm not done. Okay, they're not coming for me. That's fine. Wait, no, they're gone. Do you want to see Molly Cruz's house where they lived and partied? Do you? Do you? Let's go to Crew House. I'm going to show you where Molly Crew lived. The real Crew House. That's another thing. People get it wrong where, where Molly Cruz's house is. In the apartment complex. It's not what you think. I'm going to show you the real Crew House. Let's go. And in case you're ever going to take a look and try to find Guns N' Roses Hell House, the actual Hell House, I'll give you a hint. I'm not too precious with my location. Like, I don't, I, like I, I don't give away a lot of where I go exactly the addresses. It's not because I'm a snob or something like that. I want everybody to be able to go if they want. But I think part of the fun is trying to find these places because it's difficult sometimes. And when you get there, it's a lot more rewarding. But I will give you this hint. Where it says it is, is not where it is. Right there, that's a Russian bookstore. They say it's behind a Russian bookstore. It's not. The only tip I'll give you is, see that building? That building goes like that. What's that? Like that? Go north. Go north, young man. Or young lady. Go north, people. Go north. Okay, you see that red building? That's the famous Whiskey A Go Go on the Sunset Strip. That's where everybody's played. The Doors, Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, Poison, you name it, the band has played there. If you come to LA, you gotta play the Whiskey A Go Go. But right here, see this house? Well, this apartment building? This is what's commonly called Crew House, where Motley Crue lived. But I've done some digging. And I believe that this building that people come here and take pictures of and film, let's see if you can get a little, there you go. That's not it. That's not Motley Crue's crew house. That is. Now in the book, The Dirt, they talk about the, the fact that their apartment overlooked a courtyard. They were on the first floor and it overlooked a courtyard. Come with me, right this way. This building goes back, just a simple building like this. That's all it is. Do you see a courtyard? There is no courtyard here. There's a garage in the back, but no courtyard. And an alleyway where they would throw their garbage out the window. That would go into the garage. There's no alleyway there. This address is the real address. And if you know what I'm talking about, if you're a crew fan, 1140 not 1124 right up the street from the whiskey still but it's a house well apartment building next door 1140 because this building has a courtyard 
And where they lived on the first floor, it's right in back. It's right there. Into there, right there. Let me zoom in for you. There's the courtyard. And this is one of those that's facing the back there. Well, facing this way, but back's on. That's where the crew lived. Now, unfortunately, nobody's around, which is rare, because this is a pretty bustling area of Hollywood. I thought maybe somebody would be out on their deck or something. So I'm shameless. I'll just ask if I can go in. But no. Oh, look at that sign. Quiet, please. I have a feeling in the 80s, that did not apply. So yeah, I'm gonna show you some uh, Google Street View. Uh, well, Google Map, aerial, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you from Google, the courtyard. You'll be able to see it. Try to pinpoint exactly where their parma was. Here's a pool out front. But yeah, if you see right through there, there is a courtyard in the middle there. And they lived on the first floor, not the second, that a lot of people seem to think. Yeah, you can see further down. Oh, wait, where was I looking before? Into there, you can see a bit of a courtyard. Maybe it's up here where I was looking, doing my scouting. Oh, yeah, you can see stairs going up to a courtyard there. But they would have been on the back there. No, those are different. What am I talking about? It ends there. That's where the alleyway goes. Where they used to throw all the junk out, like refrigerators. This is Crew House. Right here. Well, I do wish I could show you a little bit more from Crew House. I wish I could go right inside and show you their... Uh, I'm not sure you which number it is, to be honest. Gotta be honest. Because sometimes, I, you know, people make mistakes. I could make a mistake. So I wouldn't want to say which number it is. I've, I've heard two different numbers, so I don't know which one. But it was the bottom floor, first floor, facing the courtyard. The back went to the alleyway. And that alleyway got clogged up. But yeah, Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, lived and played all around here. Oof. If this street could talk, like that parking lot outside of Guns N' Roses. Like imagine all, they would play there, at a, like the Roxy's down there, the Rainbow Whiskey. They'd play their gigs there, stumble up this street, groupies and hangers on following, up into this building here. And that's where the ship went down. Motley Crue. And The Dirt was a great movie, even though Machine Gun Kelly was in it. Detroit. Yeah, great movie other than him. <laughs> Actually, he wasn't bad, but he sucks. Detroit. All right, Eminem. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you're a big rock fan, I hope you liked this and you got to see some things you want to see. I'm glad you could come along with me. I'm a huge fan of Guns N' Roses and Motley Crue. Poison is, well. Poison is actually my favorite. That says a lot about me. Warren, Skid Row, you name it. Let's go. Uh, no, I'm done. All right. Thank you for watching. Peace. Out. Crew house. Right there. We're done.